In a normal transformer, we have one primary coil and one secondary coil. Flyback transformers have a secondary coil which produces the high voltage and several other coils. The positive side of the secondary coil is a thick red wire that comes from the top and has the suction cup. We need to identify the ground side of the secondary coil and among all of the pins of the transformer we have to find the primary coil also. Make a draw of the bottom side of the flyback. This flyback has 10 pins and we need to measure the resistance between every contiguous pair of pins. The first pair of pins have a resistance of 8.1 kilo ohms. Write this resistance in your drawing and continue measuring all of the other pair of pins. We now have all the values of resistance among the pairs of pins in the flyback. The primary of our flyback will be that pair that has a value of resistance close to 1 ohm. As we can see, the first three pairs have a value of about 8000 ohms, 1.6 in the fourth pair, 0 and 0.1. Therefore, the primary of this flyback will be the fourth pair that has a value of 1.6 ohms. The positive side of the high voltage secondary is the thick red wire in the flyback. We have to find which of the pins in the bottom corresponds to the ground. In order to do this, you need a couple of 9 volt batteries that you will put in series. Then use an alligator and connect to the negative side of the batteries. This alligator will be connected to the negative of your meter. Then the positive of the meter will be connected to the positive side of the flyback secondary. Ok, now use another alligator and connect it to the positive side of the batteries. Your multimeter has to be in the voltage range. Take the alligator that is remaining and test every pin in your flyback. The first pin will give you almost zero voltage. Check every pin in the flyback and notice that you are getting a voltage of almost zero. Continue checking all the pins until you have a voltage that is non-zero. In this case, we have 12 volts and this indicates that this is the ground of the secondary. When you measure the remaining pins, you will get almost a zero voltage. Therefore, the ground of the secondary will be that pin that gives you a non-zero voltage when you measure it using this technique. Some larger flybacks such as this one have more pins. In addition to the pins in the Horshow configuration, we have two additional pins that correspond to the high voltage capacitor that is internal to the flyback. These two pins will not be used to find the primary nor the secondary, so we will only concentrate in these pins. Here we have our flyback ready to connect to a driver. We have the primary and the high voltage secondary, positive and negative. 